What it is, my 10 Peace and Grease here, and ever since I did a video, I don't remember which one, but in that video I said that uh, we'll normally solo the first isolation bolt and sometimes the second isolation bolt. I've been getting messages from people asking why run isolation bolts and how do you do it? So to answer the first question, you would run isolation bolts because, well, quite simply, you can get necromech parts, and if you're extremely lucky, you can get scintillants. Good luck on that. And, of course, there's a lot of rare resources you can also pick up within the vault as well. Now, how do you do it? Well, I'll show you right here. So I think for this video, I'm going to show you how to do the first isolation bolt. And then in another video, at some point, I'll do the first and the second isolation bolt. Now, fair warning, for the third isolation bolt, I do typically squad up with people to do that one. One necromech, it's manageable. Two necromechs, yeah, it's, you know, it's kind of hectic a little bit. Three Necromex, yeah, you're, you're gonna need uh, you're gonna need some pals to, to help you take all of those guys down. Those guys down. So I am running Neja. I am running my Kuva Agris. I think I'm for secondary. What am I running? I think I'm, I think I'm running the uh, the Prisma Twin Gremlins. I think, yeah. And then for melee, I'm just running the Caratinos, which is the new claw melee weapon. So with all that being said, let's go talk to Mother. Let's go down and grab the isolation bolt. Bounty. So this is the Isolation Bolt bounty you're going to want to grab. You can see the possible rewards for the first, second, and third vault. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to basically grab this. And we will head in. Essentially, you're going to come over here to this bait station. And then it's going to tell you to collect the Vohm residue. Then it's going to basically turn into a defense at that point. And you're just simply going to... After you finish guarding this, you're going to go into this cave right here behind us. Then we've got about three minutes of basically staying alive, killing enemies, picking up drops. And then uh, it's on to the vault, where we have to face the Necromech. Now, for the Necromech... Oh good, glass maker enemies. I am so glad to have more glass maker standing. Uh, but the big thing here is dealing with the necromech. That's the big thing. And the way that I do it is I actually use an arc gun as a heavy weapon. Specifically I use the Grattler. The reason I use the Grattler is because, well, explosive damage is very good against robotics. So that's typically what I do. And it works pretty well. I, I take out the right arm first because the right arm is the gun hand of the Necromech. And taking that out really kind of limits his damage, which is a good thing. Right, we need three more Vohm Residue. I'll show you each of these steps as we go. And we need Uno Mas, there it is. And on our way. Back to the bait station. Alright, now this is what I was saying earlier, is the mobile defense portion of this isolation bolt. It's pretty much the same exact thing almost every damn isolation bolt. The, the change is the amount of enemies and the level of the enemies. So. Oh good, more glass maker standing. That's what I always want to.
I am running the Nightwave Napalm on my uh, Kuva Agris. Because this does pretty much lay fire down wherever it goes. And the explosion area, explosion radius. Which we all know how much infested love fire. Which is not at all. We'll get the drops here. up to the base station, collect the goo, and we'll simply throw this up against this uh, sphincter looking door, and now it's on to the, I guess you could call this the... Uh, mob wave of enemies for three minutes. I normally activate Nezha's first, leaving a nice little trail of fire. Oh good, more glass maker standing. Yeah. All right, so make sure you pick up all your drops in this room, and then you can move on to the bolts. Now, I normally like to activate my arc gun before I get into the bolt, 
Because you may not have time once you're in there with the Necromancer. Now you don't have to open the bolt door. That's entirely up to you. Although, I would recommend that you actually do so. But, to each own. I probably should have brought something else besides my Helios, unfortunately. Because chances are... It's going to die. Alright, so let's bring up the art gun. Like I said, I'm using the Grattler. Explosive damage is very good against robotics. I normally like to aim for the right arm first. Let him drop all those nades in there if he wants to. There we go. And the Necromech is down just that easy. Unfortunately, I did not see... Okay, we got some uh, orientation metrics. Good. And we got some engines. Good. Damage Necromech engines. That's what we need. Now, to open uh, this door... Okay, it's already open. Sometimes these are helpful against the infested. So they're worth uh, opening. And thankfully, my Necromech survived. My ne Necromech. My uh, Sentinel survived. Now sometimes I will find skintalents floating around down in those openings. So it's always worth taking a look. Sometimes I'll find skintalents on these stairs, sometimes I'll just find them up here. So if you're looking for skintalents... Those are kind of locations you should look, look at. All right, now you're more than welcome to go to extraction at this point, and that's going to be considered a successful mission. You don't have to do the vault if you don't want to. Obviously, I would recommend that you do. And so this is the vault right here, and essentially what you're going to do is switch to your operator, blast this crystal with your amp. This is going to bring out Lo Lloyd, and now you need to defend his booty while he activates all the little uh, generators. Let's get rid of this guy. He's been dodging me since I got in here. I don't know what he's doing down there, but... down here. Even before the infestation, they'd begun to stay away. Well, most of them had. This is pretty much it. But, uh, one thing to keep in mind is... I'll go through these dudes. That's what I always wanted. Alright, where's this spider with springing a hole? Spider web crap spider web crap someplace else dude. Alright, now best bit of advice, make sure you stick with 
Lloyd as much as you can towards the... Oh, my Helios did die. Oh, that's a shame. Stick with Lloyd uh, as he goes down to the vault room. Because once he gets down there, it's going to show the combination on the door. And if you're not down there, essentially you're going to have to waste a, a attempt. And you only get three attempts at opening this door. After that, it's a fail. All right, Riss, I, Netra. Oh, you asshole. Simply guess. Unfortunate. You have two attempts remaining. I unfortunately blasted that enemy with my amp. And sadly, it actually hit one of the emblems as well. So. Yeah, that sucks. An interesting expedition, I trust. But, well. yeah, there you go. The bounty's complete for the first stage. And uh, let's see what we get. Unfortunately, I did not see any skintalants. So we're going to go ahead and smash all these open. And uh, you get basically a bunch of rare resources. Uh, so that you don't have to worry about fishing or mining as much. Which is a good thing. Uh, well, you still have to do that, unfortunately. But, that's pretty much what you got to do for the first vault. As you can see, pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Um, not too hard at all to do. Yes, I have faith in pretty much all of you guys and gals out there watching. You could do this solo as well. There's nothing special or different uh, about me versus you. And when we look at this, how to get out of here, you simply approach this guy. And if by chance... Once you select this, you start falling through the map. Just open up your gear wheel and select your arc wing. It's really that simple. You're falling long enough that you have plenty of time to open your gear wheel, plenty of time to select your arc wing, and then you can just fly back to the surface. It's really that simple. It's, it's not hard at all to do. So we'll see what happens. Hopefully, uh, yeah, it seems like it's going to work. I think DE may have patched that. But uh, yeah, that is the first part of the isolation vault I think that I will do the second isolation vault in another video to kind of show you how I get through it I used a very similar tactic uh, but the difference is two necromex instead of one but with all that being said and done hopefully that helps you out let me know down in the comment section if you have any questions at all or thoughts concerns and until next time peace out